Howdy, Jacob here. Today I'm doing a one-off video on just showing you that kind of contradictory to this channel, but uh, in some aspects, but it's more important how much you invest than the rate of return you get on your investment. So what I have here is just a quick example. Uh, I have someone making $100,000, one uh, person A invests $25,000 a year, person B invests $15,000 a year. However, the person A is just investing into SP500. We're saying that they get roughly a 9% return. And then person B is a great investor. You might not think 2% extra is immense, but I'll tell you right now, it is absolutely immense. And I'll even show you to you firstly, actually, by putting the $25,000 there. So 2% is crazy amount, is a crazy amount better return. So much so, in fact, that at the end of 50 years, you have over double the money of someone investing at 9%. But if you just think that getting an extra return is the most important thing, then you're fooling yourself because given just 2% return extra a year, which again, doesn't sound like a lot, but is a very grand amount, then it would take you over 38 years to make the same tap, to accumulate the same amount of money as someone investing 25,000 versus you at 15,000 with two extra percent. Now, if we get a little bit extreme, I'm sure it's quite a bit less, but at 14%, it would still take you over 18 years to get to the same, and 5% a year in return is absolutely immense. And so just keep in mind that although I do go over companies and I, I just really enjoy doing present value calculations, I love projecting, I love not projecting, I love projections um, or I love projecting numbers more specifically. But as an actuary, I, I, do, I do use... Um, I do calculate a lot of things, I project a lot of things, and I just really enjoy it. And so to me, even if I don't you know, gain 1% a year, 2% a year, that's absolutely fantastic, but I just really enjoy doing it. And to me, I think that based off of companies' valuations in the stock market uh, going up and down 30 plus percent in a year or sometimes in a month or so, I just don't think that the efficient market hypothesis is truly accurate. And so to me, I have learned through reading so many books and evaluating so many um, you know, people that are fantastic investors that I just think that I can outperform the market. Um, whether I do or not, you know, we'll see at the end of 10 years plus, that's when, that's when I think it'll be truly prominent to where it's obvious. Because uh, anyone saying they beat the market in one year time, it doesn't matter. It's for gays and for guys. It's a year. It's stock market. It's crazy. So uh, if you can beat it over a 10-year period, then you have big props. And if you can keep doing that, it's huge. But just a reminder that how much you invest is incredibly important. And, uh, and it is more important in most cases than the return you get on that investment. Now, if it's thirty thousand versus you know twenty five thousand versus twenty five thousand, you're saving the same amount no matter what. Then absolutely, getting a better return is best. But don't think because you think you're going to get beat the market by two three percent that you know you don't need to invest as much as um, you know you should. Then you're just fooling yourself, and it's simple math. Just look at how much um, you know. Even at three percent, it would take you probably 27, over 27 years to, to invest the same amount to be greater than the person who's just getting the market return at 25,000, saving a little bit more than you. So this is just, I just wanted to post a video, um, a little bit contradictory because, you know, I'm, I'm posting videos on present value of companies to where I think I can outperform the market. And again, I do it because I enjoy it. If you don't enjoy it, then don't pick companies. Like if you, if, even if you think that you're not great at it, but you really love doing it, of course, absolutely do what you love. Like 
That's why I'm doing these videos because I really enjoy calculating these present values. It's extremely nerdy. And I talk to people about it and they're like, man, this dude nerdy as heck, which I am. I, I, I am. I'm an actuary. Like I'm crazy nerdy, but if you don't enjoy it, you're so much better off not listening. And you're not listening to me on anything that I do. You shouldn't. You should just, if you don't enjoy picking stocks, go and just invest everything into an SP 500 if you're young, diversify with some small cap, mid cap companies, international companies. And then when you get older, start introducing bonds and fixed assets, fixed income assets into your portfolio. I, I think, I think you'd enjoy it so much more making it a process than if you didn't enjoy picking companies, because I think the only people who should pick companies are people that enjoy it. Even if, it, again, you don't beat the market, you're enjoying the process and you'll likely get very close to the market if you can stay consistent to your process. But for people that are one emotional or two don't enjoy it, please just invest in diversified portfolios that make the most sense to you. And, you know, if that means less videos for me, I don't care how many watches I have. I have videos with one watch and it was me. Like, I don't care how many people are watching this. I just want to help the few people that really enjoy what they do, really enjoy um, picking companies. And I just want to show people companies that maybe they haven't heard of before. Because I know for me, when I was doing this, I've never heard of D local before. And then I did more research on it. And I'm still researching it because it looks like a fantastic company. To me, it looks like a Visa or MasterCard that has that is, uh, I don't even know, 20th the size, not even close with extra growth out of them. So there's just companies that I love hearing about, love learning about, and I hope that you do too. And if you don't, don't go through the trouble of trying to get an extra percent or two without you know, investing your max amount. So definitely a bit of a different video today, but I really hope you enjoy it. And as always, hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you.